Backstroke S13. There are the eight finalists in lane one. Martha Ruther from the USA. Next to her country mate, Colleen Young. Second USA swimmer in this final. Kasumoto, bronze medalist at the last World Championships from Japan. Krivshina, she swam well this week from Russia in lane number four. Balshava, the European champion in five, next to Tegan Van Roosmalen from Australia. Naomi Chirap from Romania. Can the Romanians get onto the medal table? Good chance for Naomi Chirap. And Velasniova from Slovakia. She completes the lineup in lane number eight. Canadian world record holder Chelsea Gotel. That mark has stood since 2008. But Anna Krivshina, the swimmer in lane number four, may well challenge that. Our entry time, 109.91 for the swimmer from the Russian Federation in lane number four. This is the final of the women's 100 backstroke S13. Well, the Canadians won't want the world record to go. Gutell not in this final, of course, but Chelsea Gutell does have the world record, 109.09. I really do think it's in danger tonight. Anna Krishina in lane number four for the Russian Federation is really chasing this down. She's really motoring through the waters. A body length and a half now clear of the field. It has to be all eyes on the clock. The gold is sewn up already. We haven't even met the halfway stage yet. And she rotates onto the front and turns in 32.91. The world record is on. It absolutely is from Chelsea Gutell set the world record. She went through in a 33.82. So this lady from Russia is almost a second inside that. Very, very close for silver and bronze position between four swimmers there. Colin Young, Kasimoto, Balsheva and Van Roosmalen. But here comes the new champion, Krivshina, coming into the end now. It's going to be a massive world record swim for Anna Krivshina from Russia. What a performance. Second position is going to go to the USA, I think, or is it Australia? USA takes it. Colleen Young ahead of Tegan Van Roosmalen in lanes two and six. But there was no doubting who was going to win that. And what a dominating performance by Anna Krivshina from the Russian Federation. She went out a second ahead of world record pace and she has knocked a second and a half, 1.8 seconds away from that very tough world record held by Chelsea Gotell from Canada. And there's the flying backstroke start, trying to cover as much ground as you can before the fingertips enter the water. It's about driving high, but arching your back and opening your chin and trying to curve the spine. You need great flexibility to do that. And underwater for some great distance there, perhaps some 10, 11 metres down the pool for the new world record holder, Anna Grishina of the Russian Federation. Here's the turn, rotates onto the front, paddles back. You're allowed that one pull underwater. Lovely rotation and very quick with the hands into a stretch position, darting through the water. And a nice turn there also for Kasumoto of Japan. Japanese swimmers often skillful underwater. We always see that. But talking about water, well, it's all hers. Anna Grivshina of the Russian Federation finishing right there with that huge world record. Chelsea Gutell of Canada loses the record this evening. She wasn't in the final. That lady right there is the new world champion. Anna Grishina of the Russian Federation. And here are the other medalists coming in. What a great battle it was. Silver going to the USA. Young taking the silver. There's the official result.